Okay, I imported a PDF. Um, this is going to be how to change your settings in Celtics. You're going to go up here to the edit tab or the edit button, whatever you want to call it. Scroll down here to script settings. You'll see that I already have them set up. You want to make sure your page size is US letter. That's eight and a half by 11. You want to make sure you have show page numbers. Um, normal spacing, don't, don't do tight spacing. Um, it, it's not appropriate. It's not proper formatting. If you have page breaks, um, do it before the act, which acts really refers to um, TV. So you're not doing, if you're not gonna be doing a TV episode or a, a pilot or anything like that, don't worry about it, but go ahead and have it, have it marked. Um, you can take it off too, but as Castle is a TV, ser TV series, uh, can't tell it's a Monday, um, leave that. I'm going to leave that checked. Um, show character mores and continues. This is specifically for characters. If a character is speaking and you happen to go to another page with the same um, dialogue, it will stick more in parentheses right underneath that character's dialogue that signals the um, actor that, hey, you, this speech is continued on the next page. Some people need it written in crayon, other people don't, but you never know who you're gonna get, so just have that. Um, make sure that that's checked and that those are in there as more and continued. Continued is gonna go right next to the character name as that speech is continued. It also works if you have the character start um, a dialogue, and then there's action, and the character goes back and, and continues to speak. Um, that's just a really good thing to have, um, and, and it's correct formatting. You'll also see this show scenes continues. Have the, if you have this across page breaks checked, you're going to get these lovely little continued and continued don't do that in a spec script, not necessary. It, it's not really necessary in any kind of script, but some studios still do it, just not in spec scripts. You'll see this windows and orphan settings, just have the scene heading checked, no need for character um, or character parenthetical. Uh, you really shouldn't be writing that huge thing in a parenthetical. Parentheticals are really only maybe an inch, two inches long, if that. But on the other side of that, you should be frugal and thrifty and economic with any of your parentheticals. Make sure that the scene heading one is checked. You should never have a scene heading that has an orphan. And what an orphan is, is that one little word that's dangling over here at the end. Don't do that. Sometimes it's unavoidable, but never in a scene heading. Your scene heading should be something like um, Ben's bedroom, comma, Ben's house, hyphen, day, night. And if you want a special, if, if that scene specifically needs to be shot in like black and white, you would put B and W after a hyphen after the time of day. I hope this helps you with your formatting. After you're done that, click save. Go scroll through, make sure everything's correct. Um, this using, created using Celtics, you can't get rid of that unless you subscribe. Feel free to subscribe, not a big deal. I am gonna point out, if you import any kind of a PDF, your formatting will get screwed up just like this. Um, and I will let me go show you what I mean. Let me go here to KVM that share under share of. Okay. It stops sharing when you put that to the to the back. So um, in here, I'm sure it's in here. Um, give me a minute to find it. Mm -hmm. 
that. I can't find it. Um, I can't remember what I labeled the folder as. Isn't that fun? Okay, we're gonna drag this down. And we're gonna use the finder feature. Okay, there we go. And I think I actually, oh, I don't have it in PDF. I just have it there. Okay, well, we're going to open up the, the final draft version. And it might stop in a minute. So here is what it actually is supposed to look like, not the other thing. This is all. And then the title page, that's what it should be look, that's what the title page should look like. I don't have it on this draft, but so that's just a caution. If you're going to do that, do it. Just be aware that you're gonna to have to fix your form. 